God be with you, my dear friend, and welcome to the, our reflection on the Sunday of the Holy Trinity. We have the topic, God is Trinity, God is love, God is relationship. Um, the term Trinity is the term we use to describe the being of God as we learned from Jesus. He said already in John chapter 14 verse 26 that the Father, God the Father, we sent the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, who he will send in the name of the Son, and the Advocate will teach us what he, the Son, has already taught us. He will take from the Son's word and give to us. And that's the same meaning or uh, content of the Gospel of today, uh, according to John chapter 16, verse 12 to 15. Jesus was also saying that everything he has belongs to the Father. They are one. And the Holy Spirit will take these things he has and give to us. So, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yeah, but at the same time, one and only God, the same God Abraham and Isaac and Jacob worshipped. Now, um, when we look at this uh, intimate uh, communication between Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, what belongs to the Father, uh, belongs to Son and the Holy Spirit, the Father will give uh, us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit we take the teachings of Jesus and give to us um, the, the, you find out a very 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 deep and intimate relationship communication and this communication speaks for love and we can remember what the word of God said in in first letter of John chapter 4 that God is love God is love um, what is love? Love is relationship, the personal and peaceful, harmonious relationship, even in, in spite of uh, differences. Yeah, relationship of understanding. That is what we call love. Um, and the way we come to God is through the same way, through love and through relationship. We remember what St. John said, if you don't love your fellow human beings, if you are not in good relationship with your fellow human beings, then you cannot be in love with God. You can't say you love God or you are in good relationship to God. And that's why Jesus also said uh, in his parable, if you are coming to the altar to offer sacrifice and you remember that you are in not in good terms with, with your brother, you drop your sacrifice, amend the relationship, and then come and offer sacrifice because God is love. God is good relationship. Therefore, if we should summarize religion with one word, religion is good relationship between God, between us and God, between God, us and one another. And that is why we are supposed to be very careful of any religion, of any preacher, of any teaching that teaches us to uh, hate or harm any human being. Not to talk of killing, which is getting more rampant in the name of God, in the name of religion. Those things don't have anything to do with God. God is divinity and divinity is trinity. And Trinity is love, and love is relationship. So, divine order does not work against relationship. Any effort against relationship is not according to divine order. Another thing that we learn from the Holy Trinity is that relationship and love uh, function um, in a way of unity, in diversity because you have one God unity but at the same time they are diverse three persons Father Son and the Holy Spirit that is the environment and the economy of love and relationship 
God is not so much interested in creating a uniform. Look at the nature he created. The, 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 the divergent by, uh, variety makes the nature beautiful. And that's the message which the love of the Holy Trinity is giving to us. People make us to believe that our difference is meant to divide us. Uh, white and black. Uh, this person is uh, from this place. The other person is from the other place. This person looks like this. The other person looks the other way. No, these are erroneous teachings. That is why racism is not divine. It is not from God. Because racism tries to divide the white from the black, from the, from the yellow, and all that. And try to use the difference among us uh, to, as, as a punishment, as something very negative. And that is also the reason why um, gender neutrality or neutralism is also not from God. Um, trying to say there is no man and there is no woman, you can just uh, uh, choose whatever sex and the, the whatever. You know what is happening these days. Uh, the, anything that doesn't respect this difference that is a gift to us is not from God. And even in the church or in communities, uh, the, 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 the dichotomy and also the uh, uh, friction to, uh, between uh, the progressives and the conservatives, uh, these things doesn't, uh, have, doesn't have the support of the, of the Holy Trinity because Holy Trinity foresees that in every community there will be difference. People who are for uh, faster movement and the people who are for slower movement conserving uh, but the understanding in the trinity teaches us that if you are for the progressive try to understand the conservative if you are for the conservative try to understand the progressive and we meet in some way in the middle and that meeting point is our god of unity who makes us one in spite of everything so our god is not a god of black or white it is a multi omnicolored God who is in everything and for everybody and this the power of the love we have from him uh, makes us to be able to, to to survive in cases of contradiction because it is the love that survives in contradiction in variety in uh, it must not be only what I say that matter in in, in, in divergent opinions in, in spite of all that love should be upheld. So let us work hard to utilize the to utilize the uh, divergence, the difference among us to build and strengthen us instead of allowing them to be used by forces of division to divide and weaken us. And may the Almighty God, the power of the Holy Trinity, continue to unite us and power us and strengthen the love, the unity and oneness among us through the power of the uniting force of the Holy Trinity. So may God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.